down real quick. Where from? you going, buddy? Where, what, were you in a ditch? You want to live in our swim pond? Put them in the cooler. We don't need cooler in our drinks. Sweet. All right, bring him here, John. <laughs> There's even a little bit of water in here, John. We're gonna save this turtle's life who's living in a ditch by the highway. <laughs> they thrive in this kind of stuff. He's got a nubby, we'll call him nubs. He's got a nub tail. Bring him here, John, put him in the cooler. Look, Johnny, we're always rescuing animals. We even got a little water in here for him. <laughs> Good job, Johnny. Watch out, he'll snap all the way up, clear up to the cooler. Ooh, he stinks. Wow, we're in trouble. All right, let's go. <laughs> Mom's car is gonna stink. She's gonna freak out, bro. Put conditioner in there. Open that thing up. Jack, careful. Oh snap, how do I get him without him grabbing me? Text Luke, text! Look at that! Text Luke! Whoa, that was lightning! Whoa, that was lightning! That was lightning fast, did you see that? Check out what this guy has been eating. The snapping turtle poops. This is what was inside of him. A chick of something, some sort. So you have that chick that was in him. So he ate a chick, the snapping turtle. Oh my goodness, what is this? Feathers, look. It ate a bird. That's Wow, there's all kinds of bones and vertebrae in here. Legs. Look. That's from the snapping turtle pooping. This is what he's been eating. Look. It's like a baby stork looking thing. Look at that. Snapper's a beast. It's crazy. Look at what that turtle's been eating. That's a bird. Leg, beak, feathers. Wow. Here, we're moving this guy out of the bathtub. Put him in here for now with the monster. With the other monster creatures. <laughs> he is not happy. clean the these guys actually this is not their home this is for the turtles and we had snapper in here or thunder is one of our uh, snapping turtles and we went ahead and cleaned this up we just have our ducks in here just to enjoy a little bit while it's clean of course they're gonna make it nasty so we're not gonna leave them in there and then we went ahead and clean these guys it looks bad right now because it's not settled we're gonna add a little more water to these um, and we actually have Hatching baby right here that's gonna be coming out any moment. Look, Bob, look. Bob, are you gonna help me feed the fish?
See white roots? Yeah. That means it's healthy. Really? That means it's getting oxygen in the water and it's getting nutrients, yeah. which is what these fish, so these fish are giving these guys nutrients. I haven't been feeding these fish by hand very long. This is Tiger. He is a spotted gar. He is absolutely bold and beautiful. I think he's getting more and more comfortable eating out of my hand. The other bold one is Lion, the three foot alligator gar. He is definitely not shy, but he's also not stupid. He keeps his distance, but his hunger is way more powerful than any fear he might have of me. I know some people might say, why do you get excited over trash fish? I don't know why people consider them trash fish anyway. They're completely prehistoric, beautiful animals that are native and are very important to our ecosystem. Most people feel threatened or scared by what they do not know. Do you consider them trash fish? Ask yourself why. They're great to eat if you know how to prepare and cook. They're a beautiful fish to look at and they absolutely play a role in our ecosystem. We have plenty of them. Their eggs are toxic. They have not many natural enemies due to their armor, scales, and their teethy mouth. But I tell you what, when you get one hooked, or if you ever prepare one or know how to cook it, you will grow to love these fish and learn their excitement, their intelligence, and their importance in our world. <laughs>